we have already configured our PHP development environment and we have also installed a PHP Storm for our IDE and we have our Android Studio for Android development. So the next step for us is to have a version control system. So whenever we make some changes on our project, whether it's on Android or in our PHP file, so we need to have a version control system so it can keep a track of every change that we do in our project. So let's go and install or download first our git so go to your browser and just search for a git and the first thing you can see git to download and you can also see here have a git uh git is a version control system for tracking change in computer files and coordinating work on other files among multiple people it's a primarily used for source code management in a software development but it can be used to keep track of change in any set of files so which means we will be using it to keep track on our file uh, track of our file change in our project so let's go and click on the git over here and we depending on your os version you can download for me i have a windows version so i'll just click on it and it will take me to the download and let us cancel it for now because i have already downloaded a git so let's go to our folder over here i have a git and after you have successfully downloaded your file you can always come over here and just double click on it i'll just hold on a few seconds let it click yes okay and click next and where you want to install the default directory for the C drive program files and git that would be good enough and click next and you want uh, icon on desktop yeah i do want to have icon on my desktop and just click the rest of the things you can just uh, leave it as default and just click on next and next and use stream or you want to use any of the other editor it's just you can choose the default editor or uh, what we can use is a notepad for us okay let's see that notepad so the notepad plus plus we don't have and use kit by default so that should be good enough vim okay then click next and kit from bus command only git from a command line okay that's good enough and just click next and just default is next okay then should be check out windows style okay that's we want to use on a windows style because we are in windows and just click on next and use windows default we use windows default console for windows if you want to use a command command line or cmd or we will be use using a mean tty so by default terminal so let's just click on next enable enable so that's good enough for default and just click install it so just wait for at least a few seconds just to get it to finish the installation the git has successfully set up and we can just uncheck this one and launch git bus just click on finished and here you can see we have our linux style terminal so let's say ls and you can see where you are and if you want to go to change the directory cd does the back and you can see go to the user directory the, it's working fine and it's uh, similar if you have uh, some linux command line background you can it's fine you will find it's more easier to navigate so that's it for this and we have already installed our uh, git and in the next step what we need to do is we need to configure our project to connect with our git version control system so for that we will be using a github so i will see you in the next video till then have a great day